Safi's new president discusses the association's plans under his leadership. Our focus is to increase our membership on which is active category. So active categories, we appreciate people, those who are in travel business, they become ITI agents and then they become our members. Our main aim is that the agents in our country should have a, first of all, proper ticket stock. They should not have a competition from their own principles, means parity in rates. And they should not be called as financiers, they should be called as consultants. Tourism New Zealand's Kiwi Link India 2016 kickstarts in Mumbai. We've got 35 uh, New Zealand operators that have come up um, for three days or two and a half days of a business exchange um, with 80 uh, travel agents uh, from uh, across India. We've seen 60% growth uh, in the last five years um, and last year was certainly uh, no different. So year ending May, we total arrivals into New Zealand are up 11%. Um, and holiday arrivals are up 15%. We expect double digit growth out of this market. India continues to be uh, in the top 10 uh, source markets into New Zealand. FRHI hotels and resorts organize their annual global meeting exchange at the Fairmont Ajman. This meeting takes place once a year. Uh, it's usually over four to five days. Uh, it's a mix between the one-to-one -one meetings where we are given opportunity uh, to our hotels and to our partners to meet and to exchange on their needs and their potentials. And we are also spending a few days uh, on the destination by itself, uh, showing and demonstrating what the destination has to offer to the mice market. In India, we have a strong presence in uh, Jaipur with the Fairmont and Calcutta with Swiss Hotel. Uh, for us, it's a very strong market. It gives our hoteliers a chance to meet with customers on a one-to-one -one basis. We have people coming in, we have our clients coming in from the States, from uh, Australia this year, which is a new market, and also from other parts of Asia, such as Singapore and China. We have quite a large delegation from China as well, as well as India. Australia records an 18% rise in Indian arrivals in May this year.